Hi, and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzel and Mendy here. We are live and we are local. How are you doing today? We're talking about a lesson on the environment with the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education, a place that I love, my kids and my family, we've loved for years. We want to welcome to the show Mike Welbacher, the Executive Director of the Schuylkill Center, and Camilla Rivera Tinsley, Manager of the School Programs at the Schuylkill Center. It's so good to good have morning. you here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, I should introduce Loki, <laughs> who's a, a, an Avenger antithesis of an Avenger, I guess, <laughs> yes. right, if you know the Avengers. Um, Loki is one of our education ambassadors. So he is an animal that stays with the Schuylkill Center um, all year round, and he gets a chance to go out and meet lots of groups of children and different, um, different segments of the population. And he is a great, great spokesperson, even though he doesn't speak, um, <laughs> for all the great work that we do at the Schuylkill Center. Oh, that's so, that's so great. And, and how old is Loki? Tell, give me his, his backstory a little bit. How did so, he come to the Schuylkill Center? Yeah, so the Schuylkill Center has a wildlife rehabilitation clinic, um, and we take wildlife from all over Pennsylvania, native wildlife. So you can't bring your cat or your dog, um, but you can bring a wild animal, and we do our best to um, rehab these animals and return them to the wild. Now Loki came in because he fell, his nest fell out of a tree and him and his siblings came in and we were able to release his two siblings but unfortunately when we tried to release Loki, um, Loki had a little brain damage and so when he gets ready to fly he tracks to the left which means that he's always flying in a big circle um, and I think some of us know about running in circles so yes. anyway Loki came back home and now he gets a chance to stay with us all the time. Which is a good thing so it's like the Hotel California to him. Yes. Right. <laughs> yep. So he's also a nocturnal animal, right? So he's active at night. So he's one of the creatures that we're celebrating in our Halloween hikes coming up. Well, and this is my kids' favorite, yeah. one of their favorite times of the year to, to go to the Schuylkill Center because you have some amazing programs. But the, during Halloween in the fall, the hay rides and the nocturnal nature walks. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, Halloween is one of our signature programs, so Halloween hikes and hay rides. Um, Loki's not going to be there, but we'll have an actor dressed as an owl. So uh, families go on a nature walk in our forest, and the forest is candlelit, and you meet a series of actors, fox, possum, skunk, uh, owl, bat, uh, and they tell you about um, what it's like to be a nocturnal animal. So you go in this loop, get treats from our nocturnal animals, uh, and then when you come back in, you use pumpkin painting and a whole bunch of yep, other things. There is pumpkin painting. We have um, a campfire going at the same time, so families are able to make s'mores and sit around the campfire. We'll also have some food trucks available that evening, so you can get dinner for your family. And we've got a hayride that um, makes a tour through our property, so you get a chance to see the stars and have a little nostalgic moment on the hayride. Well, and I think one thing that I noticed about it is, yes, it's fun, right. but children, especially small children, sometimes they're afraid of the night and they're afraid of nocturnal animals because if you watch the movies, bats are evil, and right? And so the, the idea of actors dressing up as mm -hmm. some of these animals is a great idea mm -hmm. to introduce kids and make them walk through the woods and say, wow, the woods are alive at night with these wonderful animals right. and so it's it's a great partnership to yeah. to make children so they're not so afraid of the animals and especially for young children uh, it's a it's not a scary halloween so it's not a haunted trail it's just uh, you know we have actors being sweet and wonderful with with inter oh hello <laughs> um and actually so they're these are called screech owls mm -hmm. so they, they make a screeching sound mm -hmm. so can you imagine if you were walking through the forest at night back in the day when there was no light and one of these flies by screeching and it's it's a pretty haunting sound so lots of legends of ghosts probably arise from owls from actually. just an owl uh, just an owl right? now, is he just saying hi does that mean he's relaxed a little bit or uh yeah you can tell when loki is relaxed um by his ear tufts there sometimes when he's a little nervous his ear tufts will lay down and that Kinda means like a dog. You know, he's looking around yeah <laughs> so right now loki seems to be uh, he's pretty comfortable here so what is the program nature uncorked tell me about that <laughs> So Nature Uncorked... Um, I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're trying to appeal, we're trying to um, appeal to adults, too. Okay. Um, so we're, we're very well known for our children's programming and our family programming. We have a lot of adult programming uh, coming on now. So Nature Uncorked is a little bit of wine, a little bit of nature. Uh, in the evening, sometimes we go for a walk outside. This one will be inside. So uh, we're doing a Halloween version of Nature Uncorked. So it's for adults uh, to come, wine and cheese, and learn about scary animals a little bit of owls, not so much, but you get the real story on vampire bats, for example. So okay. what do vampire bats 
really do. What do they do? What, what do, do they, they do? What do they really do? Well, they don't suck your blood. They only lick it. So. <laughs> they well, they have to well, bite you first. Better. There has to be a puncture <laughs> first. Let's, let's just, exactly. you know. And then their saliva, you know, stops the blood from coagulating, and so they lap the blood up, and they, they don't attack people. They're in Central and South America. Um, what I think is really cool is that legends of vampires turning into bats arise like in Eastern Europe before, before uh, Eastern Europeans discover that there's vampire bats actually living in, in Central and South America. So the, the legends go way back, but you know, how did they know that you know, when we go to the New World, when, when Europeans go to the New World, they would discover that there are in fact bats that actually do this. <laughs> That's kind of weird for me. So we'll, we'll do some of the legends of animals like that, but we'll meet, you know, goblin-faced sharks. We'll see a lot of really weird and scary looking animals and talk about their life histories and life cycles and where some legends of animals intersect with Halloween. And what are some of the other programs you have going on? You know, because I know this is a busy time of year. Yeah. So we have all kinds of programs. Like Mike said, we do a lot of programs for families and for children and also for adults. Um, I work a lot with the children's programs and so we have school groups that are coming in all the time and using um, our trails and using our forest system as an outdoor living classroom. We also have a nature preschool which is right on site and so we have kids from very young ages getting a chance to be immersed in nature um, and learning through the lens of nature which, which is a very special, special, um, special program. We also have an after-school program, um, and that is our Monkey Tail Gang, and that's <laughs> really another really great program. It's a loved where, program. Yes, yeah. lots of students from um, that are close to the Google Center get to come and play out in nature, and also learn while they're playing. So we do a little, you know, nature is sneaky that way. While the kids are outside thinking they're having fun, they're actually absorbing so much information at the same time. Yeah, they love it. You know, we'll take a quick break, and we'll talk more about the the Google Center and all the environmental awareness, how you can get involved when the Dawn Show continues. Mm -hmm. 